Hey saints, so we're back with another word. So let's look at part three in the power of prayer. Now here, the Apostle Paul is in Corinth and he's having a hard time with the Jews in the church of Corinth. So he makes a move. Now let's look at this and see the move he made and what happened with the move that he made. Now let's look right here in Acts 18, seven through 11. And he departed thence and entered into a certain man's house named Justice, one that worshiped of God, whose house joined hard to the synagogue, and Crispus, the chief ruler of the synagogue, believed on the Lord with all his house, and many of the Corinthians, hearing, believed, and were baptized. Then spent the Lord to Paul in the night by a vision. Be not afraid, but speak, and hold not thy peace, for I am with thee, and no man shall set on thee to hurt thee, for I have much people in this city, and he continued there for a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. And that's at Acts 18, 7 through 11. So as we see in the synagogue, the Jews was given, you know, Paul a hard time after he came back from his journey, and Timothy and Silas was barely just making it back down to Corinth from when he left them a long time ago when he had to flee to Athens. So as we see here, you know, they're giving Paul a tough time to where they are trying to vex his spirit. And he's in, really, he's in a state of just being just exhausted and, and, and just, you know, just the people are chasing him and giving him a hard time. So he escaped to, you know, the house that was on the side of the synagogue, which belonged, you know, to justice who worshiped God and to the chief ruler, you know, Crispus. So he went to their house and then he had a vision from the Lord while he was stand there and the Lord reminded him and to let him know that he had many people in this town, in any other town, and nobody's going to set to put their hands on him. And this is a wonderful, wonderful thing right here because this is letting you know that the Lord is in control of all things and the Lord is mighty and powerful and can't nobody do anything to harm him. So let's look at in um you know his stint while he was there in Corinth, you know, and they had got a new deputy and the Jews this whole time was 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 trying to, you know, just plot against him. And this is the city of Achaia in um, Corinth. So let's read right here, starting at Acts 18, 12 through 16. And when Gallio was the deputy of Achaia, the Jews made an insurrection with one accord against Paul and brought him to the judgment seat, saying, this fellow persuadeth men to worship God contrary to the law. And when Paul was now about to open his mouth, Gallio said unto the Jews, If it were a matter of wrong or wickedness, if it were a matter of wrong or wickedness, lewdness, O ye Jews, reason was that I should bear with you. But if it not be a question of words and names and of your law, look ye to it, for I will be no judge of such matters. And he drave what you, he dragged them from the judgment seat. So as we see here, sometimes we ain't even got to open our mouth. Our Lord is so powerful that the Apostle Paul didn't even have to open his mouth that the person that they ran to, which was the deputy, <laughs> Gallio, you hear me? And he told them, you know, if it's about your law and this is about your pettiness, you know what I mean? I'm not going to be the judge of that. This man has done no wrong. And he drug them away from the judgment seat. You know what I mean? And this is the power of the Lord. This is beautiful because when you come in that connection and that oneness with the Lord and you understand what God is doing, you understand how powerful he is and you understand his position, then you can know your position. So let us just continue to get ourselves in the Lord and know that it's the Lord that fights our battles for us. If you're standing on the line of righteousness, you're standing in position of righteousness, you're speaking up, you know, for the things in righteousness that's pertaining to Christ Jesus, the Lord will always make sure that his is okay, even if it looks like it's not okay. So just know that the power is in Christ Jesus and the power is not in weapons. The power is not in man. So we thank you for this, um, saints, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.